Okay, welcome back. Yesterday we did mechanical energy um, and we were looking at both kinetic and um, gravitational potential energy. And now we're moving on to power. So what is power? We use it commonly in, um, in, uh, out in the community and uh, often it's used incorrectly. So let's define power. Uh, power is a rate at which work is done. That is the actual thing, it's just a rate at which work is done. Don't forget what work is. Work is the change in energy levels, the conversion of one form of energy into another. So it is um, the change of kinetic energy or the change in gravitational potential energy. So work is um, the amount of energy that is being transformed. So rate in this case here means per time. Okay, so it's how fast we are changing kinetic energy or transforming or transferring kinetic energy or transferring or transforming gravitational potential energy. So the textbook has it um, has your um, formula as P equals W on T, where W up the top stands for work. Uh, you will find um, other formulas saying that it's delta E, which is the change in energy levels. In other words, it's delta K or delta U on T. Okay. So what is power? Well, power, um, so what's it measured in? Power would be, if this um, energy up here is measured in joules and time is measured in seconds, then power, the units of power, would be joules per second. Okay, it's joules per second there. So um, that's the first thing we can call it. However, joules per second, which is a fine unit to use, because it makes sense, um, has been replaced in honour of um, James Watt, who was an engineer, and um, we also have that joules per second, so the watt is defined as the joule per second. So if we talk about measuring it in watts, um, then we can also say, a watt is actually a joule per second. It's just a combined unit in honour of um, Mr. Watt there. Okay, moving on. So remembering, we're going to be using these three formulas here, that power is the change of energy, the amount of energy that has been transferred or transformed, divided by time, how long it takes to do that. And the work, that's delta E, is work. Work can either be the change of kinetic energy or work can be the change of gravitational potential energy. So here is an example from the textbook. A box of two kilograms is carried up a five meter staircase in 20 seconds. So um, if it's done in 20 seconds, we want to find the power of this. So this is what the actual question is. I haven't written it down. What is the power that is generated by this person here doing this? Well, in this case, we will be working out, are we doing work as a change of kinetic energy or are we doing it as a change of gravitational potential energy? So we're assuming he, I think it's he there, he's just going walking up there at a constant velocity. So we are not changing any kinetic energy, but we will be changing gravitational potential energy. So let's calculate the change in U. So delta U is equal to mg delta H. So the mass is two kilograms times by G, which is 9.8, times by the change in height, which is five. So that will be um, 98 joules. So there's a change of 98 joules. And in this case, we are going to gain gravitational potential energy. So it's a positive 98 because it was a positive five. Yeah. Okay. Now, to work out what power is, power would be the change of U divided by time. Uh, remember, this is just the general E over here. It's got to be either delta K or delta U. So it's 98, oops, 98 divided by 20 seconds. And so that would be 4.9 watts. Okay, so doing that there, um, sorry, doing that division, you get 4.9 joules per second, so joules per second. That means 
it's either 4.9 joules per second if you want to use that unit or 4.9 watts. <clears throat> okay, let's try another one. A car, this is another one from the textbook, a car with mass um, 2,080 kilograms accelerates uniformly from zero to 100 kilometers per hour in 3.7 seconds. What is the power exerted by the engine of the car? And we're going to ignore all, um, uh, all resistances. So this time here, we had to ask ourselves uh, when we do our power, it's, um, is it going to be this delta E, is it a change of kinetic energy or is it a change of potential, gravitational potential energy? And it's divided by time. In this case here, because we are changing from zero to 100 kilometers per hour, then we will be doing a change of kinetic energy. So let's have a look at the change of kinetic energy. Do it separately over here, delta K. Um, this would be K final minus K initial. The initial is zero because it is stationary at time equaling zero. And the final would have a velocity of 100 kilometers per hour, which as we know is, um, when we multiply that by um, uh, 5 eighteenths, that will be 27.7 um, meters per second. Okay, I'll 27.8, we could round that too, because that's going to be repeated there, okay? So our delta K here would equal a half m v squared minus u squared. That's the final velocity minus initial velocity. And as we said, that would be equal zero because u is zero. So it's a half times the mass, which is 2080 times 27.8 squared minus zero squared. Okay. And I'm just going to multiply that out and we'll leave it in that expanded form there because I'm going to do one calculation alone. So that's the change of kinetic energy over there. So now calculating power, power would be the change of energy which is um, a half times 2080 times 27.8 squared all over the time taken which is 3.7 seconds. So this is the joules on the top, this is the change in joules, and this is the time on the bottom. So this is joules per second, and whatever this thing comes out to be, you can either write it as joules per second, or you can choose the combined unit of watts. Okay, all you have to do to evaluate this was to make sure that it is left in three significant figures. Um, I'm not gonna calculate that because there's enough there, you can just pause the video now and calculate yourself if you wish. Moving on to our next one. Um, a light bulb has a power rating of 60 watts and it's left on for 30 minutes. How much electrical energy does it use? So going back to our formula, power is equal to the change in energy all over T. So far we've had change E, delta E here as delta K or delta U. Oops. Uh, delta U, uh, that's potential and gravitational um, energy, so gra gravitational potential energy or kinetic energy. It can be any form of energy. So in this case, we could use electrical energy. And remember, the delta E is the change of that energy, how much it is converted into another form. Um, a light bulb converts electrical energy to light and heat. Okay. So this 60 watts over here tells us how fast we convert electrical energy into light and heat. We can, um, if we want to find how much energy is used or um, consumed by the light bulb, then we just rearrange this, then the amount of energy delta E would equal PT. Now our power is 60 watts, and remember what are uh, joules per second? So our time must be measured in um, seconds. So our time is 30 minutes. So it's 30 times 60 seconds, which is 1800 seconds. So going back to our formula over here, that power is 60 times 1800 seconds. And we can then work out that um, 
I haven't got a calculator with me, so I'm going to have to do this myself. 8 times 6. Um, that's 48. Uh, 10, 108. So that's going to be 108.0030 um, watts, uh, no, joules. And that would mean it's 108 kilojoules is, um, is converted from electrical energy into light and heat um, in that time, in that 30 minutes. Okay. The last calculation type is what, um, what are we doing when we're using a different type of form of work. Um, we've, our last form of work is where work is Fs, a force and something being moved through a distance. So our change of, um, of energy here, in this case, we could be using a force and displacement. So let's read our question. A mother pushes a 40 kilogram um, pram with a force of 20 newtons through a distance of 12 meters, and this is done in 15 seconds. What is the power? Okay, the power of the mother, mother power. So um, power would be the work over time. And work in this case is Fs. So the force, so it's Fs on T. So the force is 20 newtons. The displacement is 12. And the time is 15. Okay. So, um, and that would be measuring watts. Once again, I haven't got a calculator, so I'm just going to do this in my head. Um, that is 4 times 5 times 3 times 4, that's 5 times 3, and da, 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 da. so it's 16. So it's 16 watts. Okay. So these are the three different types, sorry, the four different types of questions that you're going to be doing in the worksheet, which is linked at the bottom of this. Yesterday you did question one through to six of the, of the worksheet. You are now going to um, go from question seven onward. Okay. Have a go, and I will join you with um, selected solutions.